Good afternoon. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to use iSolved to enroll in employee benefits. Uh, once you are logged into your iSolved account, uh, you'll be placed here on the home screen. Uh, so first you're going to navigate on the left side of the screen to the benefits menu uh, with the heart icon. And then once that opens, you'll select benefit enrollment. This will open a page that displays what enrollment periods you're eligible to enroll in benefits for. You're going to uh, ensure that you are selecting the correct enrollment period and then click review in order to review your available enrollments for that period. There will be a couple menus that it will take you through uh, during the enrollment wizard, starting with your personal information. Uh, that is where you will enter your contact information, any information that isn't already automatically populated from your iSolved account. Then you'll be prompted to enter information for your beneficiaries and dependents for your benefit plans. Uh, you will need to enter this information if you are selecting <clears throat> any benefit coverages um, that cover more than just yourself. For example, if you are electing medical insurance coverage for yourself and your spouse, you'll need to enter your spouse's information here as, as a dependent. Uh, if you are electing life insurance um, with one of your children as the beneficiary of that plan, you'll need to enter their information here as a beneficiary. Uh, once that's done, uh, you can navigate to the current benefits menu, which will display what plans you are currently enrolled in, if any. Um, it will also display the cost of those plans you are enrolled in and the coverage you've elected, uh, whether it be coverage for yourself, uh, for yourself and your spouse or family coverage or any other options you are provided. Then it'll provide you a cost analysis of all the available plans uh, that you will be able to elect. It will break it down by coverage and show you how much will come out of your paycheck each pay period in order um, to purchase that coverage for that plan. Once you've reviewed that, you can click next and that will take you to the actual election menus. Um, it will be broken down by benefit type depending on how your employer has this set up. You can see here that under the medical insurance benefit type, we have two different benefit plans that can be elected. You're going to select the plan that you want to enroll in and then select coverage based on who you want uh, to be covered under that benefit election. Once you've covered that, it will display a checkbox of who that, uh, that plan is covering as well as a breakdown of the per pay amount that you'll be paying for that coverage. You'll continue to do this, um, clicking select plan to go through all of the available elections, again, based on the options that your employer has provided. Uh, if you come across a plan that you want to waive, you're going to select the waive coverage option. And that will prompt you for a waiver reason. Uh, if your employer has it configured this way, you would select the waive reason and then click waive plan to confirm. And like I said, you'll continue through this uh, election process until you have completed elections for all of your available benefit plans. Uh, once that's done, you'll reach this page that shows uh, the costs of all of the plan elections that you have made and the total of the deductions for those plans. Once you click next, it will take you to this page uh, that will display if you have any tasks remaining for your elections. For example, if you need to enter any beneficiary or dependent information, or if you've missed any elections. And once you click through on this, it'll take you to this final screen where it will display a final uh, summary of all of your benefit elections along with the cost uh, annually. And it will also give you an option to download a summary of all of your plan elections. And then up in the right, it will allow you to show how much you will pay for your elections per pay period, per month, and per year. Once you've confirmed that all of your elections are correct, you will click Submit Benefits, and then click Yes to certify that your elections are correct. And you have 
elected all of your benefits. Your benefit elections will now go to your employer for confirmation and enrollment. 